hello friends welcome to my youtube channel technet guide friends in this video i am going to tell you how to install xgem server in windows 10 so friends before going to install first let me tell you okay what is xgem server so xgem server stand for like uh, x stand for cross platform a stand for apache m stand for mysql and p stand for php and perl okay now friends we have to download exam server and then we can install it okay so let me show you how to download it so print in google type here exam server download okay now click here so we can see first link here apache friends okay now click here on first link to download it so we can see we have a latest here 8.1.12 okay we can download from here okay for windows okay if you want to install in linux then you can install in linux so now i can install it click here to download here 64 bit so you can see it will automatic download here it start downloading so you can see friends now it's started downloading here okay let it download first okay meanwhile i will pause this video okay now friends we can see exam server downloaded here okay so you can see exam server downloaded so now we have to install it okay just double click on it to install now now friends we have to click on yes now you can see welcome to exam setup wizard now click on next so you can see we are going to install here mysql filezilla okay let it select all perl php admin okay no need here filezilla i have already so now click on next now friends you can see this is path of exam server you can change path from here okay so i'm not going to change now click on next now we have to select language now click on next now you can see setup is now ready to begin installation now click on next to start the installation installation is started here so i'm going to pause this video will resume once installation done okay now friends you can see installation completed here okay so friends it's asking do you want to start the control panel now okay now click on finish so we can select here we have to select here okay now click on finish now friends you can see we have successfully installed our exam server okay so this is a control panel of exam server so so we can configure from here like our notepad editor is notepad okay from notepad we can create program so auto start module we can select here auto start module apache filezilla tomcat okay my school so not going to auto start but i will show you how to start it okay now friends you can see we can start apache module click here to start now we can start my sql okay so you can see it's starting here now friends you can see i'm trying to start here apache server but it's showing here error apache shut down unexpectedly so friends you can see we are getting this error okay so how to resolve this error so let me show you how to resolve this okay now friends now friends we have to click on config select here config okay now select here i should pd conf okay now we have to select here you can see listen 80 this one okay we can change 80 to 80 80 okay now another we can found here local host local host okay find next so you can see local host 80 we can change here 80 to 80 80 okay now click on save 
now close this now friends again go to config and we have to select here httpd ssl okay now you can see listen 4432 we have to change here 4432 44443 okay now click on save now friends we can again try here click here to start apache and so now you can see apache is started here okay running so friends you can see how to resolve this issue now friends we can start mysql click on start here you can see we have started apache we have started mysql okay php program and run program here okay so friends let me show you the path where my file will be there okay so go to c drive so you can see exam so my file will be in ht docs okay in this folder okay so what we can do we have to create a php program we can create like program here now friends this is a folder directory where your project where your all project file will be here okay so this is very important directory your project file your uh, file will be php file will be here okay so from here we can run our program here let me show you how to create program here go to notepad okay and we can type here our project name like my php project project okay dot php okay extension should be php okay my php project here okay now are you sure you want to change yes so now friends we can now friends open this with notepad okay with notepad now here we can create program here php program like question mark php question mark and close okay question mark then close so from uh, so friends we can uh, start from this and we can close this okay so from here we can uh, like echo to print anything welcome like what we want to print welcome to my youtube channel technical guide okay colon enter now click on save here now let's run this program go to your browser localhost slash my php file name okay what is your file what is your file name my php project okay my php project now press enter so you will see my php in, in browser type here localhost colon 8080 slash my php okay file name then press enter here so you can see welcome to my youtube channel technet guide okay so friends we will see another program here how to add two number in php okay so let's see how to add two number so we will create program here how to add two number here okay so delete it so like uh, like dollar a is equal to 5 colon dollar b is equal to 11 colon then dollar sum is equal to dollar a plus dollar b okay now echo it will result echo dollar sum okay now friends click on save here now again we can run program localhost my php project okay now press enter here so you can see sum is 16 okay 5 is equal to 11 sum is 16 so friends in this video we have seen how to install jump server in windows 10 also we have seen how to create program in php and run program okay 
सो फ्रेंड्स थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो हैव अ नाइस डे